Have you ever watched any DC media and wonder who the heck is this metal cyborg being that gives Superman a run for the money? And you're probably thinking it's all because of Kryptonite. While some of that is true, he's actually a lot stronger than you think. And it's not all because of Kryptonite like you might actually think. But before I get into all that real quick, thank you all that have donated to the channel. Appreciate it a lot. There's this guy before he became a Tillo named John Corbin. At first, he was a professional con man and stuff, but he nearly died from a car crash, but he was rescued by Dr. Vale. Vale is a scientist who had seen the alien known as Superman descend to Earth as a baby, believed Superman was a part of an alien race, scoping out Earth for an invasion. To defeat him, Vale placed Corbin into a powerful robotic body, powered by a substance known as kryptonite. Corbin ended up killing his creator, of course. He ended up striking out on his own, seeking to kill Superman to prove himself as the most powerful being in the world. You ended up creating something to protect mankind and ended up turning on you. Good for you, sir. These people don't be learning a lesson, these mad scientists, do they? Animated stuff or live action stuff makes him seem so boring but he's actually a lot more fun when you dig into the comic lore of him you get right in 10 this high looks in his guidebook they even state what i just said mattello is a cyborg who's living human brain exists within a robotic body which has been made to look human by a plastic covering that it resembles flesh powerful firearms can wreak slight damage on mattello's body they say not even a collapsing building could destroy it he possesses great superhuman strength he draws his energy from the radioactive material placed in his chest cavity kryptonite makes him stronger than uranium does and the virtual inexhaustible power source for him he can project kryptonite radiation from his eyes all kind of deadly kryptonite weaponry stuff to counter kryptonians right and as you can see here more information about him look how he looks in this picture looking epic he does make power progression throughout the years cyborgs in fiction usually do this a lot when they get upgraded the better the technology is in the world the better they're going to get you know it makes sense you got more lore on him right here as well look at all these machinery and weapons on his shoulder pads and stuff you know during the different adventures there was even times where he's as large as a building he was infected here and this is not his normal power set you know heck superman doesn't even hear a heartbeat from the guy he's not ashamed to weaken superman or even other kryptonians with his kryptonite he can survive without it but it does make him a little weaker without the kryptonite heart sometimes he appears to have lungs that need air i guess Mattello be different having different writers too so inside of his body is electrified he's not a main main character of dc so he's not going to be one of those characters you're going to see doing a whole bunch of flashy stuff but battle feats kind of does have those battling superman is one of the most impressive of battle feats but of course yeah he does have kryptonite of course you know he sent superman flying miles away so it still takes a lot of strength to send somebody flying that shows their superhuman strength he is superman so hard that the bank they're in collapses for pete's sake hits him long through a skyscraper in this occasion gets tackled by him taking some hits from him. you see what i'm saying he's not necessarily just spamming kryptonite in these occasions so it's not like he's just a feather i mean the guy split a school bus in half I and mean, look how big he is compared to him He's big and bulky, just looks strong. Does this a Superman through the walls of a man kind of truck with punching power? Of course, he can punch huge walls apart, making craters, enduring cratered hits. Isn't that impractive? Smashing through a wall again. Metal doors get ripped apart. And he can lift humans with one hand. That's light work. There's no point in trying to shoot him with shotguns. I mean, he's not necessarily made of the strongest metal in the universe, but his durability is still shown to be pretty impressive, even though I know Superman isn't necessarily punching him with his absolute hardest. Plus, Superman isn't necessarily trying to kill him, but it's still impressive that he's not getting shattered with every blow in these occasions with Superman. When you say that's still kind of impressive, it's not like Kryptonite just completely takes away all his strength on the spot. You know what I'm saying? He's consistently able to take all kinds of gunfire or abuse from every direction. You know, gets hit by a robot man, eats the attack, you know, then gets shattered. Yes, that same robot man you be seeing on Doom Patrol. Yes, that's the same one. <laughs> yeah. Going back to this fight, notice how he reflects the heat vision off of him showing how durable his body is. Showing his resilience and durability against the man of steel throwing a car in him at this occasion. People even note how fast he is even though nothing too flashy he has blasts that can burn other stuff like burning mall stores with the radiation he can produce basically Matillo has heat vision it's like the time he blew up this bus and of course naturally these beams can affect the man of steel but this isn't necessarily kryptonite so that's still impressive as well he has technopathy for example against robot man i'm going back to it he was kind of able to control robot man crazy he even controlled a small army of droids seems like they always make this for cybernetic beings they always give them the ability to hack into other robot stuff and control them somehow you know common thing that writers do for cyborg beings right he even got new gear called this geomagnet links me to the earth itself along as i'm touching the planet i can't be moved he says superman even says didn't even budge showing that yeah it had some meaning to it he goes far and more lore to it he says as long as i'm even in direct contact with floor sidewalk whatever the geomagnet still works it's temporary power up time there was this time Mattello got a power up thanks to the underworld unleashed event he got a new ability from the demon neuron that allowed him to simulate any metal into himself to kind of give himself upgrades on the spot 
Mattello would keep his amp through upgrades from Brainiac and Lex Luthor and all that craziness. So yeah, he, one could say this is one of his mightiest days. Standard stuff. I mean, he was able to trade blows with Toy Man's Kaiju robot. I mean, he even fought the Shining Armor Steel suit. You know, Steel. The guy that works for Superman in the battle suit fought him, as you can see. He was strong enough to restrain Superman. This is, yeah, this is the part I was talking about, how this temporary power-up, now I'm to it. How he got big and stuff to restrain Superman on this occasion. Not necessarily spamming Kryptonite, showing his level of power. Steel even notes his strength. He even says he's strong. Even using the hydraulic power of my armor, I can't move my hammer. Showing that he's not all his Kryptonite. Showing he's just strong in general. Thanks to Collateral, he can destroy several buildings. I mean, look how he looks. Just massive. Ripped through a ton of Gotham City and stuff. Charges into a building, demolishing it. Knocks down buildings here via structural damage. Just look at all the ruckus he's causing. And he's like making him his feet into tank little rollers. He punched off a part of a building here because he can get big. And he can lift up heavy stuff if he wants to, like lifting up his battle shoot. Look how huge he's gotten. Epic. I don't know what to call it when he's this big. I'm just going to say in kaiju form. I mean, because he kind of looks like a freaking kaiju. I mean, look how freaking big he is. He endured getting hit several miles away by Superman Blue in this occasion and was good. Ha! Of course he's bulletproof. This is light work. Why would you even try to shoot shotguns at Mattello? Like, come on now. He's even durable enough to survive the gravity being enhanced around him a thousand fold. Showing his resilience. You see him crawling away with his head. Epic. He can catch up to other Robin's motorcycles because he can kind of fuse with vehicles if he feels like it. <laughs> Let's talk about his metal absorption ability. Oh boy. He can repair his body from random metal pieces laying around. On this occasion, he literally absorbs a cop car absorbs an airplane yep <laughs> you see it right or one could say weaponize its jets for his own personal need to be like a basically a weapon now rebuilds himself from old bull crap basically literally absorbs a freaking train and thanks to him absorbing all this extra metal from the train becomes a giant on some kaiju type stuff absorbs a helicopter heck he even had the nerve to build in powerful missile launchers oh what do you know he absorbs a tank absorbs a cargo ship and like symbiotic and like look at that tell me that isn't epic this is literally a nuclear submarine he even absorbs a mall like, it's literal superstructure against, you know, Kryptonian type characters. Like, epic. Look how big he gets. This guy absorbed the Ferris wheel and made guns come out the Ferris wheel. Are you joking? Became a giant spaceship. Absorbs a battleship. That's why right here in this occasion with Blue, he was small. In this panel, he was big because he absorbed a battleship. That's how he can grow in size. He absorbs like battle suits, right? And he can absorb more than one battle suit just to keep growing in raw power against Superman Blue in this occasion. You see the different forearms and stuff just became a gigantic threat. He's not even spamming Kryptonite right now, guys. Giving these Superman-ish type characters a run for money. And by the way, just because he uses Kryptonite sometimes doesn't mean the Kryptonite blast itself. It's like wall level or something when it comes to raw power. It's still strong enough to encave the ground and stuff by sending Superman flying. So it has some blunt power behind it. Even though, of course, it does hurt Superman in particular a lot more. But if he was to shoot this beam at like a normal human, it's not like it's going to tickle because it still has force behind it, right? Makes sense. And look how big he is compared to him here, thanks to him absorbing different things. You know, another battle with Superman, battle feet. And he does it again. Crater blast is being on his scorn. In this occasion, he, oh yeah, I'm going back to this, by the way. He wrapped Superboy in his tentacles. I don't see necessarily any kryptonite in the picture, but he's still able to harm him regardless and wrapping him up and making him struggle still. Energy attack. He can even blast out nuclear power in this occasion with Superman Blue. I mean, think about it. He detached Superman's red sudden suit from him. If his head is separated, he can just make spider legs grow out of his head to move around freely. People are thinking he's dead for good, but he's really not. He can make these tentacles to go through walls. Of course, he can to catch a Robin in this occasion. What's up, Robin? He's even strong enough to restrain Superman with these metal tentacles. You you guessed it. He has his fair share of weapons, or one could say projectiles. I mean, he can cause huge explosions. Destroy cars with his cannons or blasters. He created this powerful cannon that can do all of that. The guy morphed his own body into a missile to launch at some. Like, are you crazy? Use it to disperse Superman. Man blue with an electronic pulse. Look at these huge missiles he can, re can create to cause soups blue major headache in the process. You know what I'm saying? Of course, every main character has to have some form of electrical blast, like he shot at steel this one time. To create a flamethrower, he has a laser that can quote unquote cut steel in two, fighting steel in this occasion. Crazy, right? And of course, he has quality life features, like, like a tracking system on his missile launcher. He can make headsets listen to broadcasts. He made a body that would work well underwater. When he got submerged in the water, he can adapt on the spot. He literally split his consciousness into thousands of drones to help Luther in this occasion turn the sun from orange to yellow. So he's very helpful. And of course, I'm back to this. He can tap into all sorts of frequencies. 
It even states here how he got upgraded by Brainiac, got all the energy from the whole planet, zapping into Metropolis, and he's jacked me up so I can tap into all kinds of frequencies and light spectrums. That's why he's this strong, amped up by Brainiac, you know? Of course, he has access to the internet. There was even this one time he absorbed Superman Blue into himself. You can't help to be a beast when you got characters like Brainiac and Lex Luthor improving your tech on top of all this stuff from Neron. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, he ended up being a beast. But, of course, all good things must come to an end. He ended up losing these amps after, like, another event to where he pretty much lost the B-13 amp and Brainiac stuff from Lex. Kind of became like a humanoid being again. Of course, still not human, but became humanoid. You know what I mean? Not all the way human. They kind of did a little retcon. They even kind of changed his origin as well after the Our Worlds at War event. It's safe to assume that he's a bit weaker than these Neuron Amp powers with Brainiac and Lex Luthor and stuff. The B-13. You know what I mean? DC likes to do retcons. Remember that. When I say B-13, I'm talking about the Brainiac Amp, you know? He knocked mon out even though he's lost his power, but he's still a beast still. He can toss buses and cars. Very far, might I add. Restrains Batman and tosses him like that. Well, smashes him into a stone little thing. And this occasion punches Superman a few city blocks. All this stuff is kind of happening. One of my favorite artwork styles, and it's kind of one of my favorite comics, Public Enemy. Shouldn't have done that. Just like in that movie, similar to the comic, by the way, he can turn his hand into a gun, shooting Kryptonite at Superman on this occasion. Claims he can heal himself after getting blown up. Superman states it, it won't stop him, he'll reconfigure. And this, that's one of the reasons why I love this movie. It literally looks like it mirrors the comic. But the good thing about Mattel, even in his new underpowered state, you know, powered down state, he can still do stuff like turn his arm into a shovel. But Mattel's durable enough to take a hit from Superman flying through tanks and stuff, showing his durability. And it's implied he can leap very far. And of course, in this occasion, he's spamming kryptonite though. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily say he's Superman tier right here. And this dude is a walking nightmare for Kryptonians. Lex even upgraded this guy to where he had like different different colors of Kryptonite. That ain't even fair, bro. He has also like some type of flying hoverboard for Pete's sake. Has internal logs of recordings this day, my third day in the death world. His computer projects possible strategies to winning. You can literally kill Lex Luthor with his radiation blasts. Even if he's not necessarily Kryptonian, it shows that the amount of radiation is still dangerous for humans as well. Corbin seems to be cool with Parasite, might I add. He even states, he's one of the most deadliest soldiers in the U.S. Army. And the guy can survive a lot. Look at all these holes going through him. For example, odds get changed. I mean, this occasion I showed you earlier, he just straight on slugfested with Superman without the use of Kryptonite. I'm just, and it wasn't an easy one shot for Superman to beat him. Then that should be considered. In New 52, he doesn't barely have any appearances at all, but heck, yeah, still the same stuff. Kryptonite weaponry based stuff to be able to give Superman a challenge or give him a run for the money or issues. Stuff like that. And for the most part, when it comes to Metallo, in base state without none of that Neuron stuff, like his normal states, he's definitely not a Superman tier, but his Kryptonite radiation makes him above. He's definitely above normal humans and even super soldiers by a lot when it comes to his strength. I mean, heck, he can even shape shift his arms and limbs into whatever he wants to make it into weapons and he can kind of regenerate in the newer stuff as well. So not just the Neuron stuff. Now, when you add into the Neuron, Brainiac, and Lex Luthor upgrades, then I definitely think he's like at least maybe somewhat Superman-ish. But yeah, it's no exact science to it. But heck, he was giving him some issues without Kryptonite a lot of occasions and stuff like that. Even Superboy with his tentacles, growing massive size, upgrading himself by absorbing other metals, and just giving himself more multiplication power-ups. I mean, it seems like when he grew into those building size levels, even in his normal size, he was already Superman-ish arranged to give him a run for the money without Kryptonite. But then if he grew even bigger, he even gave him a harder struggle. So as one could say, he can amp himself with other metal. So other metal being in the vicinity could actually help him out even more. But yeah, it's no exact science to it. Too busy fighting Superman. I would have loved to see him fight like maybe Shazam or something. Somebody that's not necessarily Kryptonian to see how he really stacks up. But yeah, but what do you guys think? Did you know John Corbin was this strong? But you probably thought he was only strong because of Kryptonite. But no, he, he was able to give characters like Steel, who isn't Kryptonian, his battle suit issues with his raw strength. Steel even said he couldn't even move his arm. I'm just saying. But that's none of my business. But I'll see you guys later. Post your comments down below. Let me know what y'all think. And hit a like if you enjoyed yourself. I'll see you guys later.